Today, I will be showing you how to create a burger, fries, and a drink. To start off, you will need a create new object command. Next, we will be creating the bun, so you'll need a half sphere. You can make this any color, but I choose to make it a light brown. Now, because there's no size commands over here, you'll need a scale. X is 2, Y is 2, and Z is 1. You'll now move it up the Z axis by 35 degrees. You're done with the bun. You will now be creating the lettuce, so you'll need a torus. Once again, you can make this any color, but I choose to make it a green. It has a radius of 20 and a tube of one and a half. You'll now move it up the Z axis by 29 and a half degrees. And now done with the lettuce, you will now be creating the tomato. So you'll need a tube This has a radius of 18, a wall thickness of 1, and a height of 3. You'll now move it up the Z axis by 27 degrees. You're not done with the tomato. You will now be creating the cheese, so you'll need a box. It has a width of 35, a length of 35, and a height of 1. You can now move it up the Z axis by 24 and a half degrees. You're now done with the cheese. You'll now be creating the patty, so you'll need a cylinder. It has a radius of 19, a height of 8, an edge of 10, and edge steps of 20. You will now move it up the Z axis by 19 degrees. You're now done with the patty. You will now be creating the bun. So you'll need a cylinder again. It has a radius of 21 and a height of 8. There's an edge of 6 and 20 edge steps. So now move it up to Z axis by ten and a half. Now you want to create group because you're done with it. And if you watch it now, you will see the burger you just made. Okay, so now we will be creating a plate to go under it. So, you'll need to create new group command. You'll then need a half sphere again. You'll want to scale it because there's no size commands over here. X will be 3.5, Y will be 3.5, and, and Z will be 0.4. Now you'll move it up the Z axis by 3 degrees. 
You'll rotate around the x-axis by 180 degrees from pivot. Now you're going to create the group and you have your plate done. So now we will be creating a drink to go with it. So you, once again, you'll need to create new object. You'll get a cylinder. And this will be your cup, so you can make whatever color you want. It has a radius of 15 and a height of 60. There are 100 sides. You will move it for x to be negative 60, y to be 5, and z to be 30. Now you're going to be making an indent in the cup. So once again, you'll add a cylinder. This, you'll click on the blurry lines over here. So it doesn't matter the color. It'll then have a radius of 13 and a half, a height of 20. Uh, you know now, Move it the same, only Z will be 68. You'll now create group. Now we've made the cup, but we have to make the drink inside of it. So once again, you'll grab a cylinder. This will be the drink inside of it, so you can make it any color. It has a radius of 13 and a half and a height of 58 and a half. There are a hundred sides in there. You will now move it. X to be negative 60. Y would be 5, and Z would be 29 and a half. Now, once again, you'll get another cylinder, but this will be the straw. It has a radius of 1 and a half and a height of 20. I want it has a radius of 1.2, a height of 20, and that's it. Once again, you'll move it. Only the X will be negative 48 and a half. The Y will be 5, and the Z will be 63. Now you're going to want it to rotate around. So you'll get the rotate around the y axis by 30 degrees. Now you have a cup, you have a plate, a burger, and a drink. So now that we have all that created, we will now be creating a basket of fries. So to start off, you're going to want another create new object command. You'll then get a roof shape. This will be the basket of fries so you can make it your color of choice. It has a length of 20, so keep that. But you do want to scale it. X to be five, Y to be four, and Z to be two. You'll now add another box. So before, this is part two, and before we were scaling it and getting a box. 
Now that you have your box, this will be an indent, so once again, just click the blurry lines. It has a width of 90, a length of 90, and a height of 20. You're now going to move it up the z-axis by 5 degrees. You're now going to create group. And you're going to put rotate around the x-axis by 180 degrees from pivot. And you're going to move it up the z-axis by 10. You're going to then put add copy of object and make sure it's object 3 or whichever it says up here. You're going to go down to data, click object 3, add copy of object 3. And you're going to want it to be blurry lines. And you're now going to scale it x to b 0.95, um, y to b 0.95, and z to b 0.95. And I'll move it up the z-axis by one. And once again, you'll get another create group. And then you're gonna scale and move. We're gonna scale by 0.6. And you'll now move it up the x-axis by 70 degrees, the y-axis by 10 degrees, and the z at 0. Now you have your basket of fries. We'll now be creating the french fries in the basket. So once again, you'll need to create new object, and you'll need to repeat. You can make this however many times, but I'm just going to go with 70. Then you're going to need a create variable ff. Item rename for french fry. And then you're going to get a box. And this will be the color of your french fry, so make sure you want it the color of your french fry. It needs a width of 13, a length of 13, a height of 10, and there. And then you'll scale it and you'll need to go down to here and get randomly between blank and blank. So for the X one, we're going to do 2 and 3. You'll need another one for the Y, which will be randomly between 0.2 and 0.3. And then once again, you'll need that and do 0.2 and 0.3 again. All right, then you're going to get a move command. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to get randomly between blank and blank, but it's going to be randomly between 64 and a half and 76. Then you're going to get another random between, 
it's going to be negative 11 and 28 and a half. And once again, it'll be 3 and 7. And there you go. Now if you watch it all, you should have a plate, a burger, your drink, and your tray of french fries. Bye. Now you have a burger, fries, and a drink.